Hello, welcome to my channel, So Sophie Gifted Power One. If you find this reading resonate with you, please hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads. Also, if this reading resonates with you, check out my other readings they may resonate with you as well. Already staged over the cards and shuffled over the decks. Um, if you're interested in my Patreon and my personal readings, everything is listed down below in the description box. If you're a new baby, so I hope that you join us today. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, love. Thanks so much for being here and having me. Continue to send me all your love and light. I really appreciate you all. Continue to comment down below because I do try to read all your comments. And yeah, we're going to hop right into it. <clears throat> so, pal, two, how do their family and friends view you? How do, their, how do their family and friends view you? So, this could be someone you're in a relationship with. Um, This could be someone where, you know... um. You know, you know this person's family or things like that. How did how do they family and friends view you? So we're gonna get into this energy. So for some of you guys, um, their friends and family they view you as someone that's very sincere, very genuine, very real. Um, for the ones where you could have got a tool with this person, they feel like you're very sincere. If you did something, they feel like they they feel like you're being sincere. Um, that's just for some of you guys. Um, that's not gonna resonate for all of y'all. But for in general, they feel like you're very real, very genuine, um, very down to earth. They can tell that you really care about their son or daughter, or they really can tell that tell that you care about their family member because you come off as being someone very good for them. Um, yeah. Um, for some of you guys, there is someone particular around. Um, whoever this this can be this person. Some of you guys, if you are married and it's like an in law, um, y'all can have an in law that may not be married or whatever, and this could be someone that's kind of triggered because maybe their sibling or brother or or sister got married first or whatever this could even be someone that you know wants to be married and or not and you're married um that's her a few of you guys so it's maybe some of you guys some of their family members want to be married or whatever um for a few of you you go for, for um but um anyways for a few of you guys if this person did want to marry you um i'm seeing for the most part their family and friends would definitely give them um their blessings when it comes to at least some of them will you know they will definitely get their blessings there's a majority of them feel like you're very sincere very genuine very real so you know the good outweighs the bad so we're gonna get into we got the four of wands yet um they feel like you made this person happy as well they feel like this person got their spark back ever since they've been with you they can feel like y'all like yin and yang so their family friends actually like you um they can want you to um party with them or they could want you to come to celebrations some of y'all they could have brought you out to celebrations and stuff like that but they would want you um around more they want to treat you like family they want you around more as well um so yeah this is what i'm getting they like you with this person so their family and friends actually like y'all together oh we got the ten of swords here um they could feel like you are they could feel like um their family friends can also feel like the person that, that you're inquiring about has been betrayed, have been backstabbed by somebody in the past. So there's something about their family and friends liking you better than their ex or somebody that they dated in the past. They could have been in a relationship in the past where this person betrayed them. And now that you're here, they, they feel like you're very, yeah, we got the eight of swords. They could even feel mentally trapped or stuck or something like that. Um, so this is how the family friends view you. They view you as being better than their ex, being more real, very genuine, down to earth, you know, giving this person something that they may not have never had or something that they may have never experienced. It's something about you really bringing a spark or bringing the best out of this person I'm seeing here. As well, they could have even dealt with somebody where it was very swishy, swashy. One minute they show love to them, the one minute they like pushing them away or whatever. And okay, yes, I feel like this person was dating someone in the past where... One minute they would show emotion, then they would like close off and be nonchalant and keep this person, you know, mentally confused or trapped because they wouldn't know how to how to feel or what to do. So this could be somebody where they don't know what they could be thinking they're doing something wrong and the whole time they're not. They were just dealing with someone that was very hot and cold in some type of way, somebody that actually betrayed them. So they feel like it's very good that this person is um, having to be able to experience this with you as well. So this is how their family friends view you, you know, comparing you to who they did. Yeah, we got the um Ace of Cups in reverse here. That can even talk about unrequited love. It can talk about sad heartbreak over a connection or, or over a relationship. How do their family and friends view you? Um, we also got the Knight of Wands here. And we also got the Emperor in reverse. And we also got the Heyman. So each time I keep asking how do their family and friends view you, I keep getting like this past relationship that this person been through. So I'm about to read the, read y'all the cards how I see it. Um, 
I don't know why I have to read it this point of view, but it's coming through. So this person could have been in a relationship with, this is how their family feel, or friends. They've been in a relationship with somebody in the past. It definitely could have been unrequited love. This person, whoever they were dating, they caused a lot of pain. They betrayed and they backstabbed them. This could even be somebody where they was refusing to compromise. This could be somebody that walked away from them and betrayed them, that moved on to another connection. So, yeah, this could be someone that betrayed them and they broke up and they moved on very quickly. And this person still had feelings for them. Some of you guys, um, this, whoever this person was dealing with, they did not want to compromise. They did not want to fix things. This can even be somebody that's um very abusive as where well, where, where they will sit there and do something, and then they will refuse to fix it. Almost like somebody would do something to you, and then instead of them apologizing or whatever, they kind of wait for you to come fix it as well. This is what I'm getting. So they can be dealing with somebody that didn't want to take accountability. Um, somebody they this their family felt like whoever they was was keeping them stuck, keeping them stagnant. Um, and whoever they was dating before had a lot of negative patterns where they kept doing a lot of negative things or whatever in their relationship. And they are comparing you, their friends are comparing you to their um whoever they dated in the past. Basically seeing that you're more genuine, more sincere, um, knowing that you won't betray them. You seem more down to earth. Um, they can even want you to come around. They want to celebrate with you. They want to have you around. It's something about them wanting to invite you in because of how you're making this person feel. After them seeing this person go through this, these changes and stuff like that, and you bringing a spark back and stuff like that, they really want to, um, you know, add you in, invite you, make you feel like home, make you feel like family. Um, this is what I'm seeing here. So it's a lot about, you know, making you feel welcome. We got the Nine of Cups in reverse here as well. What's the nine of cups in reverse? Let me see. Cause what is this? Oh. Okay, we got the moon card as well. So some of you guys, um, there is a family member that could be upset. Um, I'm even getting gossip. So again, you hit, there's a lot of family member and friends that's happy for you. And then with the moon card here, that can even talk about um I don't know why I'm getting like a family friend is interested in this person, they could feel some type of way. So some of you guys, um, I don't, I don't know how that's gonna resonate with y'all, but there could be a friend, cause I, I am saying how do their friends and families view you? Some of you guys, there could be a friend or someone that could want to date this person or something like that, and they could talk to this person, they gossip with this person, or, you know, this can even be like a sibling's friend and they know that person, or etc. It's almost like, or this could be someone's friend or whatever. Um. I'm getting where this could be someone that wanted, wanted to, re yeah, so some of you guys, there was a friend or someone or someone around this person that wanted the relationship with this person and this person ended up getting in a relationship with you and this person, um, I'm sorry, y'all. These cards are all over the place. Okay, so some of y'all, there's a friend or whatever, and they liked this person. Their friend could be feeling a little betrayed or whatever because this person is refusing to compromise. And this could be somebody that's feeling tra trapped. I'm getting where this could be a friend where they're used to kind of being this person's center of attention. Because for a lot of you, I'm getting this energy where this is someone where, um, again, where they could have been dealt with some type of past relationship and they have not had like a serious relationship for a minute or... They just have not had a serious relationship or, you know, whatever relationship they had in the past was serious, but it was definitely toxic. And they're basically, there's a friend or someone that, and I'm getting, this could be like a family friend or some shit like that. I don't necessarily know. It's some type of family friend or something like that, that this, per this person likes this person. They got a crush on this person. They can want a relationship with this person. And this person be feeling a little heartbroken because this person is not compromising or whatever. Kind of this person, this is somebody where they put themselves in a friend zone and now they're being viewed as a friend and this person does not see them past a friend or something like that. And, they're, and they feel like their dreams are shattered with having a relationship with you. They feeling betrayed and backstabbed. This person's feeling mentally stuck as well. This can also be someone... Um, there can also be someone where they don't think before they speak, where they will slip up and say stuff. But that's how angry this person would get. So some of y'all, this is what I'm getting here. Um, 
we got the eight of cups this family member or this family friend can even fear this person moving on so this they have a friend someone that low-key secretly want a relationship with them again this could be some a mutual friend of their a siblings or someone or a family friend someone that's interested in they got a crush and they like and they want something deeper but they're stuck in this family friend dynamic situation and this could be someone that's free this person moving on getting into a relationship with you or some of y'all y'all already in a relationship or some of y'all this could be someone that you know feels the type of way um this is what i'm getting okay for others of you i'm also kidding with the moon card here and the three of cups in reverse and the nine of cups there i don't know um if this is a sibling i don't know if this is a friend a cousin there is somebody that's in this person's family and this is somebody where they over they gossip a lot this can be somebody where there could be heavy set they don't have to be um but whoever this person is this could be someone where they don't have a social life so there's something about somebody having a social life and having a social life or whatever and somebody doesn't have a social life and what they don't have a social life that means they don't have a lover and this person could be fearing you taking this person away because this person could be their the person that they talk to so you do have a couple friends or a couple family members some them one may have a crush on them do you have a other family a family member that you know don't have a social life like that and they kind of use this person as like a codependency where they kind of rely on talking to this person they can feel like you're going to take them away for them or whatever so this is what i'm getting here it's, it's nothing crazy but it's a lot of good messages here we got the knight of wands here we got the lovers here um the um some of you guys are family and friends could um feel like you're very attractive as well some of them can even think that um you're a player again you do have some that do have positive thoughts about you and there's a lot of them but i'm also getting this energy where there's some that feel like yo you will play them or you're there to play them or something like that yeah we got the king of pentacles for their money so some of you guys they can feel like you're so you some family and friends can feel like you're dating this person for their finances for their money um it could be the ones we have got the king of sword they can feel like you're trying to outsmart this person for the finances for their money like you just in it for the money you're trying to outsmart them for the money or you're just being calculated or you're very sneaky they feel like you're very calculated something about you being um i don't know that they, they some of them some of their family and friends feel like you're very calculated where it's almost like you're a player but you're playing your cards right and you're in a relationship with this person so just just because you're here for the money and you're trying to outsmart this person this is how their family and friends view you yeah we got the queen of pentacles as in reverse they can also want they feel like you want this person to take care of your responsibilities or take care of you or take care of your responsibilities we got the moon card and you keeping this hidden yeah we also got the seven of wands i could talk about you um everything that you claim you were not being that so yeah some of you guys again there are good people in the spread that do have positive thoughts about y'all that love y'all together feel like you're very sincere very genuine and then there's other family members when they can feel like you're on you you with this person for the money or you with this or some of y'all you're not with this person for the money they could think that you're just with this person to um manipulate them and to sleep with them and you know be a player manipulating them and you know um trying to play pray some of y'all they feel like you're trying to pr pray on this person insecurity you know you know this person's insecure about certain things that you're being calculated or whatever and you're a player you're manipulating them and you're doing this just be, you're doing this or whatever to this person because you don't care about how they feel so for some of y'all they feel like um you are with this person for their money for their finances and you low-key just keeping this head in and you low-key got a hidden agenda for others of y'all, the family members and friends can feel like um, you're a player and you're very calculated and you're in a relationship with them and you know that they're insecure. They can feel like you're, or, or you would make them insecure and you're just thinking about yourself and you're keeping this hand. So it's something about them not trusting you here. Some family members don't trust you. We got the Knight of Swords here. Um, for some of y'all, they may feel like if they were to get into a long-term relationship, you will start thinking about the opportunities that you missed out on or something like that it's something about um you being in a relationship but looking elsewhere because you may feel like you're missing out on something this is how they feel yeah we got the seven of cups um they can also talk they also feel like you with this person because you don't have a lot of resources or a lot of opportunities and this person can provide you more opportunities and you don't want to miss out on something like that so that's why you got into a connection with them so it's family we got the nine of cups yeah why you right why you started talking to me in the first place I got the four of pentacles here. We got the strength card in here as well. Because you um, you started talking to this person because you know that this person let people go from their past or whatever. And this person um has self-esteem issues. 
So something about their family members where they feel like you again, y'all in it for the money for some of you guys. Um, you're just here to use this person and stuff like that. So this is not for everyone. Like again, their whole family don't feel like that. Their whole friend group don't feel like that. But um, let me get the overall energy. How do they feel about you overall? Cause that's the situation. This is how they view you. And all I'm gonna, I'm gonna get y'all like two more cards. How do they um uh, feel about you overall? What's the energy? How do they feel about you overall? How do they feel about my power one overall in general? Okay, we got the Queen of Swords. They feel like you're very calculated. They do feel like you're very smart. They feel like you're wise. They feel like you'll be able to make decisions from a higher standpoint. They feel like you have a good head on your show. They're very smart. They feel like you've been through things or whatever. So you know what you're so they feel like you know what you're looking for. For the ones that you know, for the positive, you know, family members. They feel like you know what you're looking for. You're very smart. Um, you're assertive. Um, that you're reliable as well. We got the two of swords here in reverse. Yeah, so it's like a double ed, um, edged sword. So some of you guys are family members feel like you're very smart, very assertive. I mean assertive, you know, you got a good head on your shoulder. Um you've been you know what you're looking for because you because oh, you've been through certain stuff, so you know you know what you're looking for. Um they also feel like you don't play no games, no nonsense, you know your worth. And then on the other hand, they can even just feel like um you're here trying to um cause delays in this person's life, you just keeping this person stuck or whatever, um, or something like that. You being calculated, trying to keep this person stuck. You can talk about when it comes to finances and stuff like that. Yeah, we got the six of swords. Some of y'all, they could just feel like you being calculated. You're keeping this person stuck because you don't want nobody else to have them. Yeah, you don't, you don't want nobody else to offer them anything and get nobody else happiness. And this is why you're trying to keep this person tamed so they don't go through and explore the options. And you're trying to hold them back or whatever. And they feel like this is going to be revealed. That you was in it for the money or the finances or whatever. And then, then this person be able to stick up for themselves because you were selfish. And they feel like you're arrogant or whatever. And you just making promises to this person that you would never keep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so some of y'all, this is what I keep getting. There's a, there's half, majority of their family and friends view you as a positive way. And then you have like these other two or three family members that just really not trusting it. Uh, you can, this can even be that family friend that liked them. This can also be that family member that may, you know, rely on this person because they don't have like a social group like that. And they may not have a lover or whatever. So they kind of rely on this person to talk or whatever, like to talk to this person. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm getting here. Um, so this is how the family friends do y'all. Peace, love, and light. Beautiful, bring them both to next time. Bye, babes. Hello, welcome to my channel, Self to Get the Power to. If you find out this video resonates with you, please hit the like button. Comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss out any of my uploads. Also, already see certain the cards and shuffles over the decks. If you are interested in my personal readings on my Patreon, everything is linked down below in the description box. If you're new, I hope that you join us, day babies. If you're a return subscriber, welcome back, loves. Thank you so much for sending me all your love, tender, and care. That TLC, I really appreciate you all so much. Um, continue to comment down below because I do try to go in and read all your comments. So we're gonna hop right into it. So how do this person, friends, and family view you? How do this person, friends, and family view you? So some of you guys, um, they're going to be pro probably positive messages that are going to come out. And there may be a couple negatives. Who knows, right? So, you know, just take a resonate. Leave a dozen. And again, you don't have to take this if you don't want to. Um, this is just their perspective. And this is what they think, whether it's right or wrong. So we're going to get into it. How do this um, their friend? their family how does your person family or friends view you okay for some of y'all they can be uh, speculating if you're with child or not for some of you guys um this is not for all of you guys some of y'all if you have something going on where you may be with child by this person or thought you were or anything like that they're speculating about that you know that's just for the ones that, uh, when it comes to that okay for some of you guys whether this is true or not their family or friends could wonder if you had any type of work done if you had any type of cosmetic surgery done or anything like that you got a really nice body whether you natural or not uh, it could have been a conversation amongst maybe their friends it could have been a conversation amongst um their family where they may feel like they don't know whether or not you had any type of work done or anything on your body um you have a really nice body you have really nice features so they find you to be very attractive very appealing this is how their friends and family view as being you know being you look apart you know so they could wonder if you had anything done this is what i'm getting here as well Okay, for some of you guys, their family friends view you as being afraid to open up. If you are with this person, you could be still kind of in your shell when you're around their family or friends. Or they could kind of feel like there's a tension if you have a little anxiety. Or you may be fear. They could feel you fear, you know, opening it up around them or something like that. That's just for a couple of y'all for that, for the ones that's like more established with this person or, you know, something like that. 
um they feel like you're very classy so whether you're a man or a woman um their family and friends view as being very classy very well put together you have manners the way that you approach things you take really good care of yourself upkeep um they feel like you're very dependable as well they feel like um their person or whatever that y'all inquiring about can rely on you like they rely on you and stuff like that um, they also like how you have a positive attitude. You come off as, you know, being able, they feel like you're very positive. You'll be a really positive change in this person's life, a really positive shift. They feel like you will impact this person um, positively. If you, whether you're masculine or a woman, they feel like um your shoe game is crazy. You look good. Um, Your wardrobe is sharp. They really like your wardrobe. Now, for some of you guys, there could be certain family members that feel like you're, you're, you come off as innocent or you come off as not having anything done, but they could feel like there's more deeper to you or whatever, where they could be some family members or friends where they feel like you seem innocent, like nothing's wrong with you, but they feel like there's more to the surface of you or whatever. So they're kind of not buying this whole whatever, this, you know, they're kind of not buying you, however you are, they're not buying it. They feel like it's more to you and, they, and they're going to be, you don't know, speculate when it comes to that. So this is for some of you guys. Um, overall, I feel like you're very smart. Something about you being very smart, very witty. Um, you seem very smart. You know a lot of things, a lot of expertise, so expertise on stuff. So this is how they view you. Um, yeah. So they view. Um, they view you. How do family friends view? You? They view you as taking your person's attention. You really know how to keep their attention. They can really see that their person or friend is like really big head when it comes to you. Or whatever or you really know how to get their attention or something like that you're very captivated and they kind of feel like you really had this person i want to say once they're under a spell where they kind of feel like you got this person wrapped around your finger a little bit this is how they're viewing you because of you know this is how they're viewing you you know the person has um you know daydream eyes for you whether it's a man or a woman so this is how their family friends view you as really you know impacting their whoever they you whoever you are inquiring about they see you impacting this person's life and seeing how happy you make this person, especially with them seeing this person is like very in tune with you as well. Something about them being very in tune with you as well. Okay, we got the Nine of Swords in reverse here as well. So some of you guys, um, their family and friends could feel like, um, oh, we got the Queen of Swords here. So and we got the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, but some of y'all, this can even be Aquarius or whatever. But some of you guys, they can even view your family and friend, their family or family friends could view you as um you interrupting their plans or whatever so their family and friends could feel like this is for the one whether this happened or not whether you whether you think this happened or not whatever their family and friends could feel like when they plan stuff or they have stuff gone or whatever this person will um okay their friends feel like they would choose to hang out with you over there their family members may feel like this person would choose not showing up to certain events to hang out with you like they would miss something they can also play like the reason why this person's always avoiding their calls and stuff like that is because this person is too busy communicating with you talking to you or whatever so some of you guys are family friends can feel like they are left out or whatever or when you're around they're left out where if they call this person they may not be picking up the phone they may not be answering uh, for some of y'all, it can even talk about, you know, maybe usually, um, I'm looking at all these clouds as well. It can even talk about, oh, for some of y'all, I'm getting, in the, I'm getting multiple messages. So y'all could take, re resonate, leave a dozen. Um, for some of y'all, I'm even getting this energy again, where they can feel like the reason why this person's not answering is because they're with you. The reason why this person ain't show up to this family gathering or show up to like the friends day or whatever they're supposed to do or plans because of you. They feel like you will cut the, they family friends feel like they will cut their plans off that they have going on with this person in order to come spend time with you. So they could be feeling a little bit left out or feeling a little bit left behind because this person is choosing you over them when it comes to certain stuff. Also, for some of you guys, their family and friends can view you as waking them up as well um they feel some of you guys their family and friends they can have like a couple toxic friends or a couple toxic family members that's always like in their ear or whatever always clouding their judgment there's something about ever since you came into this person's life this person has been being more successful on um, this person has been being more victorious so i'm seeing here as well where something about you not them clouding this person's judgment and you kind of erasing the fall you know this is kind of what i'm getting here where like this person would have people in their ear or whatever then they would come talk to you about it or whatever and then it's like all that shit that was in your ear to kind of forget about or whatever you know um so this is how this is how they feel we got the six of wands here um we got the two of swords here as well so that can even talk about stalemate you know being um in a difficult decision again something about this person choosing to be with you choosing to show you attention uh choose to uh you know recognize you or whatever 
support you or something like that and then when it comes to their family members or whatever it's like a not for sure like for instance say for instance you want to do something they're for sure going to do with you but when they plan something with this person they may not for sure come through you know it's like up in the air so this is how their family friends are viewing you they feel like you take this person's attention away a little bit like power one just a little bit you take this person's attention away um this person may cancel going hanging out with them to hang out with you um when they are in this person's ear when it comes to how they feel about stuff when you put your two senses in it's kind of like whatever they say kind of goes out the window almost like looking at you as your opinion does hold weight or whatever so something like that we got the queen of pentacles they do feel like you're very caring very nurturing um very responsible they feel like you're very creative they feel like you also have common sense um they feel like you do care about the well-being of others they feel like you care about whoever this person is as well so they do even though they um we have the six of swords so some family members feel like um if this person wants to ever leave you or whatever they're crazy or whatever so you do have they do have some family friends where they view as you will make a good mother or a good father or somebody like that this isn't somebody that you wouldn't want to walk away from so this is what i'm getting here for some of you guys where you can have they can have some family friends but they feel like you're a good catch almost like you know it's hard to come by somebody like you so they want to want to um you know lose you or they wouldn't want to walk away from you or they shouldn't walk away from you. So there could be some family and family or friends that feel like this person would be crazy to let you go or to walk away from you because of what you're displaying to them. So again, there's a lot of positive here, even though it could be any negative here. Um, it's a lot of positive here as well. So I like that. Um, we got the Nine of Pentacles here as well. So they can feel like you taking your time to get to know this person. Are you really taking your time with this person? They can even play this person. Um... They could feel like you let this. They feel like you help this person let go of their past as well. For some of you guys, um, they could feel like this person is going to be moving from home or going to be moving in from with you guys. For a couple of you, they could feel like this person is going to leave. Um, yeah, for some of y'all, they could feel like this person is slowly but surely going to end up moving out or end up moving in with you. For the ones where y'all don't stay together, this person may stay with you know family members or people, or they may stay with just themselves. Family members feel like y'all eventually will move in together. For some of y'all, if you are moved in together and stuff like that, then there could be family and friends that could feel like, um, slowly but surely this was going to happen anyway, you know. Yeah, we got the world card. So they do so their family and friends view you as y'all being a successful couple or successful relationship. They feel like you um their family and friends can feel like you even let you you really got this person out of their comfort zone. So you know, this could be somebody where they don't really like to leave home and they don't like to leave their comfortability. And if something about you getting this person out of their comfort zone, you could be someone you're more free spirited, so you're getting this person out of their comfort zone. That's what's giving this whole relationship that spark. You making this person step out of their comfort zone, doing things that's really gonna you are you giving this person experiences that they would have never experienced they kind of would have probably kept themselves stuck or whatever and you're kind of unlocking that so their family members can flood this person as you know experience the world um they're traveling more um they could flood this person is more whole hopeful you know um when they speak or whatever talk to um when they um they can also feel like y'all having a really tight bond as well their family and friends can flip, view you as having a tight bond with this person y'all have a tight bond a tight dynamic um these family friends could feel like um this person some of y'all just they could feel like this person um was stuck on someone from the past that really didn't put much effort into them or somebody that wasn't offering you know somebody could have been offering them something but they it's almost like somebody was taking all day long to give this person an offer on something or whatever the case may be I'm getting where they could have dealt with somebody that kind of wanted to wanted them to wait or whatever or wanted to get their life together. Because, I don't know. They they were dealing with someone that it don't even have to let this person cheated on them. Somebody they could just dealt with someone where they had like a lot of um where somebody was moving too slow, you know, something about somebody not being reliable, moving too slow, or just being sticking to sticking to the um I don't know. It could they could have dealt. I'm trying to think of they could have dealt with somebody that was very rigid where they wanted to like they had a certain way that they did things. And they could feel like um this person I'm not saying they was stuck on this person, but you was able to help this person let go. Also, they feel like ever since you came into this person's life, they've been expanded when it comes to new jobs. You know, wanted to seek outside of jobs, wanted to be more creative, you know, wanted to start things for themselves, build things. So this is how they feel. They they feel like this per this person let go of the past and they started slowly but surely building with you and it was successful. So something about this person letting it go of the past. And this person is slowly but surely working away with you and building with you. And y'all becoming very successful. Actually making this a relationship. You actually fulfilling this person. They can even feel like you this person's world or whatever. 
they can feel like um this person's world revolve around you and them or something like that something about y'all being in the cocoon so this is how their family friends view y'all um i'm about to say something else but i forgot but we're gonna move on we have the ten of pentacles yeah um they can even view you they can view you as being married for some of y'all y'all having a solid foundation they can even see y'all as having a uh, family for some of you that again they can view you, this person moving with in with you or moving on moving away to build the family with you we got the queen of pentacles here you're very caring and nurturing we got the six of swords yeah so this is how the family friends view this person they view this person as actually moving home or leaving whatever they was doing whether it's a job almost like leaving certain things behind to create a brand new life with you so y'all can start a life you know this they can fight this person is slowly but surely for ones that don't stay with this person they could view this person as slowly but surely getting their finances and things to in order so they can provide you a family you know make you the mother or their children or something like that make you someone you could be able to stay at home and stuff like that they they feel like you yeah so they can move you away from any type of um destruction or anything like that or any type of um chaos any hardship so they so they view so their family friends view this person as one to overcome any struggles or any hardships to put y'all in a better situation. Yeah, we got the three of swords here as well. We got the eight of swords, eight of wands here as well. To speed progress, to have progression. We got the hangman, so y'all feel discontent. So they can fight like this person to slowly but surely get, you know, building stuff, whether this is starting a new job, whether this is a pro creative project, whether this is going after a business. They can fight like this person slowly but surely working on something to, to, or, to progress it so you don't have to be in discontent. Or so that, so they can make sure you don't ever have to be in a discontent time where, you know, you won't have to ever have to worry about, you know, not having any money or finances. So their family and friends view this person as really working hard for a future with you. They feel like this person is taking you serious. They, this person may not even express that they want to get married to y'all. But for some reason, their family and friends can feel like y'all actually will low-key lead to marriage. This is how they view y'all. We got the Knight of Wands here. We got the four of wands because of how because of the attraction that y'all have. Y'all go so well with one another. Y'all very fun together as well. Very adventurous. They can tell that y'all be they family and friends can tell like this person, like y'all be doing, you know, grown folks stuff. They can just tell the way that y'all like act with one another, eyes, like almost like the eye contact, chemistry, the way this person speaks to you, the, the things that this person say, talk about you. So this is how they, this is how their family friends, they feel like y'all go y'all get married. Y'all go be together for, for a long time. We have the Eight of Pentacles again. They can even feel this person as, um, hard work paying off. They can even, they can even view this person as being able to build with you. They can view this person as concentrating. What this person concentrating on? The Seven of Wands. You have the ten of wands in reverse. They can um feel like this person um is working hard or whatever, so other people don't have to control y'all or something like that. We got the higher friend card here. We also got the seven of cups. So their family or friends can even view this person as starting a business or whatever. Or ever since you came into this person's life, they've been being more concentrated, dedicated. They've been accomplishing more, seeing the results that they wanted or whatever. They can even view this person as um defending things that they... So they feel like ever since you came into this person's life, they starting to speak up more. Speak up more when it comes to certain stuff that they uh, agree with and don't agree with. Something hurts their feelings or whatever. Like if their family or friends do something, they speak up about it. Um, I'm also seeing here where they can view this person as, you know, being, working hard, having new uh, job opportunities, you know, but even becoming self-employed and starting a business. They can even, um, they family friends can even view you as, um, defending this person or whatever. Like, um, you see this person hard work, you see what this person is doing for themselves. They can also like the fact that you're not controlling. We got the higher friend card here as well. Again, something about marriage. We got the seven of cups. They feel they um they feel like out of all the people that they dated, you have been the only person where they felt they was gonna marry. So their family and friends know other people that they dated in the past. Uh we got the Queen of Cups here, and we got the World card. Damn, Pato, this is good. I, I'm trying to tell you, Pato, out of all the people that they dated, 
you the only person that their family friends started even thinking that this person will marry or will get into a marriage with. Out of everybody that they dated, you the only person where they feel like, oh, they may really be serious about Powell too. Or they really may want to marry Powell too because this person is doing stuff that they have not dated under relationships with you. You really got this. This person is devoted to you. This person is even working hard. Like, you may not even realize, but, but they feel like ever since you came into this person's life, especially if this is a man, they feel like ever since you came into this person's life, this person has something to work for look forward to work harder for something they can also be this person that's wanted to have a family with you and they feel like out of all their options you're the only one that they feel like was marriage material or, or what this person would marry because this person has a lot of emotions for you and they and this person shows this and with the world card here they feel like y'all would be successful and then this person could not even be caring about other people. Like, maybe, oh, we got the four of cups here. Yeah, for some of y'all, this could even be somebody where um they used to not, they, this could be somebody where they usually don't reject people, where they usually be talking to people or partying or being single. Some of y'all, y'all actually was able to lock down or or snag somebody that's used to being single or, or that's used to not selling it down for people or used to having their options open or someone where they have multiple options or whatever, you know. It's something about y'all being able to really take this person off the market for real like it's a real deal this is how their family friends are viewing y'all so um yeah if you find this really resonate with you hit the like button comment down below subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell till next time peace love and light beautiful bringing both there bye babe